Soon after receiving his introduction to the sport of supermodified racing at the hands of his father, Denny, and family friend, Freddie Graves, it almost immediately became a childhood dream of Tim Snyder's to race at the Oswego Speedway. As it turns out, it's a dream that has become a 25-year-long reality for the Oswego native, and as Snyder is now one of the most recognized and surely one of the most loyal competitors found at the Oswego Speedway pit area on any given Saturday night. Snyder got his start at the Speedway in 1993 with his familiar number zero, and either Snyder or, at the very least, one of his cars have been back at the track each and every season since. Beginning his Oswego career with a self-built creation put together in his own Oswego team shop, it took Tim seven frustrating years worth of hard knocks before he finally reached victory lane at the Steel Palace. But when he did, that long-awaited victory came on an unlikely stage. Following nearly a decade of dedication to his supermodified program, Tim decided that if he didn't get a feature win at some point throughout the 2001 season, he was going to give it up and retire. If he did win, however, he would come back for a 2002 season or maybe a little while longer. Nearly 20 years later, the Zero Car is still here, and needless to say, Tim won, and he won big. After inheriting the lead from a fuel star of Mike Ardway, Snyder traded paint with Greg Furlong with five laps remaining, securing the lead and the biggest win of his career at Oswego, a checkered flag in the 2001 Budweiser International Classic 200. Since his big win, it's only fitting that the Classic has always been one of the races in which Snyder performs the best. He finished third in the 2002 and 2003, finished fourth in 2004, and most recently cracked the top five with a fifth place finish in 2011. Right now, Snyder sits third to only Joe Gosick and Hale Tulip in holding the streak for the longest active driver, and after all these years, is still backed by longtime sponsors Oswego Quality Carpet and Rabies Ace Home Center. And, of course, his biggest supporter, his father, Denny, who joins him in the Hall of Fame this evening. Despite growing up in Oswego, most of Snyder's career was taken back and forth through trips to New Hampshire. Finally, in the summer of 2018, Snyder has decided to move back to Oswego and make Oswego his home yet once again. Join us tonight in welcoming Tim home, and congratulations to the 2018 Oswego Speedway Hall of Fame inductee, the Zero Hero, Tim Snyder. <laughs> 